the Nintendo Switch has finally been released, and to a great success even. I'm so excited to finally have some games for it. But first let's talk about the 3DS, because why not? First up we have Hey Pikmin, because we really needed to water down Pikmin 4. But hey, it comes with Amiibo. Next up, Ever Wastes, a new chibi game where you play as a chibi boy trying to serve a chibi goddess trying to fill up a chibi lake of water. Cool. Oh boy, new year which means new Monster Hunter, only this time it's nothing like Monster Hunter but rather like Pokemon. What? what? That's, that's weird. That's weird. Isn't that weird? That's weird. So how many of you are ready for Yokai Watch 2, Crystal version, or Emerald version, or Platinum version? You know where I'm going with this. So, Cold Set Revolt is more like a board game meets a card game meets an RPG. That's weird. I'm not comfortable with this, but maybe other people are. Why is this not a Switch release? Come on! Oh my god, stop with the Me games! Me Plaza nearly killed me! The biggest thing they wanted to announce about Fire Emblem Echoes was it had DLC. Ooh. Kirby turns 25, and we care about Kirby, unlike Samus in the Metroid series, who's already had their 25th anniversary. We don't like them. So to celebrate Kirby, we're going to give you Kirby Clash Deluxe, coming out today. And then we're going to get Kirby Blowout sometime in the summer, and some unannounced Kirby game, which should also be coming to the Switch, come on! I look at Bye Bye Box Boy, and I can't help but think to myself, hey, let's play with puzzles. They're like, you know, Zelda block puzzles, only the Zelda block puzzles aren't fun or challenging. Oh my god, new Zelda and Smash Me. Oh, I need them all. And there goes my wallet money again. Here, take it. Take it. Take all my money. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk about the Switch, because that's actually why everyone came here. No one really cares about the 3DS anymore. I would just like to address the fact that the ARMS commentator is really freaking me the fuck out. Like, seriously, he looks really fucking messed up. Oh god, he's so weird looking. There's so many arm types. They even come with their own elemental typing and different arm abilities. They finally show a new fighter off in arms though, Min Min the Ramen Fighter. She kicks, she has a dragon, she's so Japan. Were they even trying with her? And they also have Springman showing off here, who's apparently like the generic comeback king or whatever. Wow, she's dishing out quick hits like she's cutting noodles. Oh God, the noodle puns make them stop. Two and two matches, because sometimes you don't want to know what the hell you're doing, and instead just have so much going on the screen, you have no fucking clue. It's really neat how they have the yellow Joy-Cons being released alongside with ARMS, you know, with the theming and whatnot. The only problem is, now I'm thinking we're back in the Nintendo 64 era, where I wanted to get every fucking color of controller in existence. God damn it! Next up we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, new battle mode, same game. Followed by Ultra Street Fighter 2, because Capcom wants to prove that they will still make new additions and still overcharge for the same game. And then we have Minecraft, which is... Minecraft. In other news, Neo Geo is continuing to fill up the eShop. My inner Sonic fanboy just can't get enough of this Sonic Forces. It looks like Sonic Generations 2, basically. That's awesome. Then we also have Sonic Mania, which still looks amazing. Same gameplay. So we have some sort of a flip puzzle battle game? Uh, I guess that's cool. Okay, Fate Extella, you can't fool me. You're basically just Dynasty Warriors with the Fate brand on it. Suck at everybody else who picked up Disgaea 5 incomplete version. Yeah, that's right. Losers. So I know what Puyo Puyo is, and I know what Tetris is. But I have no friggin' clue what's going on in the screen most of the time in this. On the plus side, though, the demo's out, so I can go play it and find out for myself. Monopoly continues to monopolize on every console by having a Switch version. Sweet, we have a rebranded Rayman Legends. You know, because the Wii U kind of sucked, so we needed to put a good game on the Switch instead. There's a new shoot 'em up here, I think. I don't know, there was only like five seconds of gameplay shown. So this new game called Battle Chaser is going to the Switch first. However, I actually have no idea exactly what type of a game it is. I know, it, I think it's an RPG? I don't know. So Payday 2 is kind of like robbing banks like the Joker did in that Dark Knight movie. So, Namco Museum is bringing back all the old classics, you know, like Pac-Man or Dig Dug. You know, really tugging at your nostalgia strings here. So I think the Switch dock becoming purchasable by itself is actually a really smart move. Now you can just set up, you know, a single dock to every TV in your house if you wanted to. I don't know what the price is yet, I don't think they announced it, but that's still a really good idea. So, long after the Wii U has died off, Splatoon is having an open, an online tournament, you know, for 18 and up. Even though you're a kid now, what the hell? Finally, we get to Splatoon 2, which starts off with an old-timey ad advertising a new mode, 
Salmon Run, where you get to steal eggs from salmon people and use lifesavers to revive yourself instead of just going back to a warp spot. Actually, wait, so first we beat up the Octarians, which by the way are still a thing, and now we're picking on the salmon people? Like, uh, I'm starting to think Inklings really are the villains here. Also, Splatoon 2 has new amiibos, which is a boy, a girl, and a squid again. Ooh, new hairstyles and colors. Squid selfies! And the Nintendo Direct closes with the release date of Splatoon 2, July 21st. Also, sorry, there's still no virtual console.